What's up everybody? I'm Andrew Cannon. I'm the Santa Cruz Skateboards brand manager and today this is what we are going to be skating. This is a reissue. It's the Tom Knox Fire Pit. Just to be very clear, this is not out in the wild right now. This is an older board. Uh, we got some time before all of our spring stuff comes in so we wanted to grab some cool ones from the archive. This one is a 2020 reissue. So we did this one earlier this year. Hope you like my Harley Quinn style grip tape. Uh, I did that and was like, this looks like a cartoon character. This Tom Knox reissue right here is 10.07 inches wide by 31.275 inches long. This one's got a 15 inch wheelbase. So this one is nice and sturdy right here. You are really gonna feel comfortable cruising around the park on this thing. Now, nose and tail. The nose on this one is only 5.365 inches long, so it's quite short. Uh, we've been skating a lot of boards with a 6.6 .6 or a 6.9 inch nose, so this is gonna be drastically different. Our tail is going to be a 6.71 inch long tail. Now, this board is on our OS3 concave, which means old school three. And basically it's got some really aggressive concave. You can feel all of it. It's not super smooth the way that maybe your standard board is, but you can really feel this thing and it's got a double bend in the tail as well, which is always nice for little fakie ollies and stuff like that. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but I'm excited this board's gonna be a lot of fun today. We're skating 159 Indy Forged Hollow Trucks. So I felt like these would be great. These are the normal set that I skate on a regular basis, but I felt these would be great today because this part right here, I measured it on my iPhone, sorry, but it was about eight and a half wide. And then up here at the widest, we've got that 10.07. The trucks are good for boards between 8.5 and 10.4. So I was like, yeah, the 159 seem like they're gonna be perfect. These are 53.5 millimeters high, little bit lower than your standard stage 11 Indy. Um, we got the hollow in there, you can see through it. They're just super nice, light, really strong. We've got 56 millimeter. These are Hardline, Axel Kreisberg, OJ Elites. These are 101A, these wheels are awesome. I can't stop riding them. They're probably down to like 55s or something like that by now. Um, but originally they were 56s. We got Bronson G3s, Mob, Grip Tape, we got black. We got the colored grip on here, we got the red. It feels awesome. And then we've got our 7 Ace. Indie bolts. Today, we are gonna be doing transition, we're gonna be doing ledge, and then we're gonna be doing the wild card. We are at the Gilbert Skate Park, also technically called the Freestone Skate Park. It's in Arizona, it's a lot of fun. All right, transition, what's it gonna be? Frontside air. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a classic, kind of a classic trick. Probably should frontside air. So much more commitment than I think I have right now. All right, we'll do a frontside air. It goes with the times. Oh, not off to a good start. Oh, that was like a real rough kick flip. taking that one. Hey, today we're skating these uh, Adidas Stan Smith. These are vegan ones. They even have like a make you feel guilty message on them. This shoe alone will not save the planet. It's totally true. Stop making me feel bad. Anyway, we're gonna do front side air. We got 10 minutes. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm either gonna do it quick or I'm gonna putz around until the end and then I'm gonna look pathetic and just do a bunch of run outs. That's how frontside airs are. So fingers crossed it works quick and then maybe we'll try it like over a hip or something like that. Or we'll just, you know, count our losses and be like, cool, we're done. All right, 10 minutes frontside air. Let's go. Ugh. 
And then this thing's deep. I'm a tech skater. It's just one of those things that I literally have to just put down. All right. Oh, that was lame. All right, all right. This board is way too cool to not do it. I'm gonna give it 100% right here. I don't mentally feel like I'm ready to, but I'm gonna just do it because that's, that's BS. All right, we're just gonna make it. A liar, Eric, and a coward. How are we on time? Two minutes. It takes a while to get up, get back to the top. Nope. I'm riding away from the next one. Oh, that one was feeling good. For anyone who's a super nerdy skate person who loves old skate videos, we have a new podcast called Vert Button. I claimed frontside air. I was gonna do it on Vert. This isn't Vert, but. It'll count for something. Oh, all right, dude. Okay, I'm gonna put this one down. Oh, damn, I went down hard. Oh. At least I tried, kinda. Oh, I was like, did I just break my wrist? The answer is no. It's working. Ah, oh, that sucked. Oh. Now I scared myself a little. Oh. My boss could do this probably first try, no problem. Big ups to Jeff Kendall. Still awesome. Oh, wasn't there. Nope. Not the one. Oh, that was gross. Dang it. We gotta redo it. I did it stink bug and that's disgusting. It has to be behind the knee. far back. Just harness the Tom Remillard and the Jake Woot and the Eric Minkowski. Henry's got a good one. And Jara. They all got good ones. Blake. All right. Front foot was coming off all funny. Oh! Oh my god! That was ridiculous feeling. I got 20 seconds, I'm gonna try to do a better one. Wow. Nope. How much time? One second. Alright, I'm taking one. One more. You got it. I'm taking that one to the bank. Ugh. I'm curious to see how it turned out. Last one felt pretty cool. The one before that was a little scary. Okay, this board feels real good so far. It's a lot of board under your feet. Concave feels good. I like that little extra something in the tail. Kind of helps hold your back foot on, but you might not even believe it because I bailed so many times. Let's see what we're going to get for the ledge. We like to have fun today. Hi, right, we got to do a salad grain. That's a fun one. We'll do that on the bump to ledge and we'll see. It might be kind of tough to be honest. So 5-0 turned in salad grind. For Eric Dressen, salad dressing, that's where it came from. Why is the park so waxed? It was me. Oh, just barely. 
<laughs> that crazy arm. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try salad. We got 10 minutes, and just so everyone knows, a salad is a little overturned 5 0. So 5 0 is like this, but salad's like like that. It's almost like almost like a front blind. Oh that feels cool. Thank you. That one's sick because the salad you just have such a cool lock. Like when you get in it, it's like uh, it feels sick. Oh, that one felt really cool. Oh, I bet that back 180 would be really cool feeling. Is that it? I felt like it. I kind of came out a little bit like, like that, but let's just try one more to do it all the way. Real cool feeling. It's like a totally different lock than really any, it's almost like a front blunt, but it just has that smoothness of a grind. It was good, but I feel like we could lock it more, you think? Oh, that's the lock. Try one more where it's real, real good lock a lock. It's like, it's more a front blunt than 5.0. Yeah. That one was the, that one was the, the verted style when we won. All right, so honestly, I'm having a really good time skating this board today. Snap's great. We should try it like a nollie flip or nollie heel just to see, because I don't think it's going to be great. So let's try a flat ground one right here. See how nollie flip goes. Oh, you can see it's very vertical. <laughs> I mean, it'll work, but definitely not going to be your like daily driver if you're a nollie flipper. Whoa. It's more like novelty flip, you know. <laughs> we still got a minute and ten seconds on that salad grind. Alright, let's see switch heel, shall we? With shoes on. Oh, starting to get sweaty. Yeah, that's a good one because you don't really need to actually pop much off the nose. Oh. Just taking the rest of the time to do flat ground, see how it goes. <laughs> Let's see how a heel flip will feel. That one's probably not going to be sweet. Whoa! Catch a lot of flick. Let's try one more. Hey, not bad. It's actually a good heel flipper. Not a great three flipper for me. All right, that's time. Boom. Got the front side air. Got the salad grind. Now. Let's get wild. The tagline. Let's get wild. Time for the wild card challenge on the Tom Knox board. Hopefully it's not too crazy because Nolly tricks on this are going to be tough. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> we'll see what it is. Don't you dog me here, Eric. I'd be furious. <laughs> Three object, 360 flips. Oh, okay. So I think when I did that, it was, all right, you got to do it on three different things. So if it's like over the hip, if it's like into the bank, if it's on a bank, on a quarter pipe, whatever, it's like you got to do three of them. And that's it. It's not in a row. It's just you got to pick three different places and do a three flip. Great. This board's been sick for three flips. I got it. All right. Let's do, let's try to do it in a line for the fun of it. Let's go. Three flip into that bank, three flip over the hip. Do we do three flip fakie on the, I don't want to try it on the quarter pipe. I don't want to get smoked right now. 
I'm going weak sauce. I'm going three flip fakie on that bank. <laughs> I don't even care. Call me, call me a dork in the comments. I don't care. So three flip into the bank, nothing super juicy. Three flip over the hip, and then we'll try a three flip fakie on the bank. All right, 10 minutes, it's starting to drizzle. You wanna hold this puppy? Oh, I'm tired now. <laughs> I go slow for this. Ah! Well, we got one into that little bank. Try to just do it fakie on the bank. Ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Totally got him right in the shin. Oh, thank goodness. Let's do the hip. Oh, this is hard. Oh, pathetic. This is the smallest hip. Oh, that was a terrible attempt. All right, let's see. Let's see what this thing looks like. All right, so A, this thing's kind of big. But B, look, just landfall, just like, okay, see ya. All right, let's try it. We'll, we'll try to ollie it and see how that goes, and we'll go from there. Oh! I have not ollied up this thing in forever. I was like, I don't even know where to go. Oh! <laughs> Three flipping up this is literally probably not happening. Oh, dude, I had to bend down so far on that landing. Oh. <laughs> That's not happening, dude. There's no way. Three flips feel too crazy. We're calling it. Tom Knox, 10.07 by 31. 375? I could be wrong. It could be 31.275. Either way, you got this 10.07 Tom Knox. There's a reissue. Again, this board is probably not available anywhere. We did this one a little while ago. It's a 2020 reissue, but we wanted to just share the shape with you. It's a lot of fun. If you want us to reissue this Tom Knox, make sure you comment below. Let us know. If you got a colorway preference, hit us up. This one glows in the dark. This one's really cool. Thanks so much for everyone for tuning in. These Indies, these 159s were awesome on this board today. Uh, they felt really good. I like it because none of it, nothing was popping out. Um, and I hate that when I see a board and it's just popping out everywhere. 56 millimeter OJ Elite 101A. They were perfect at this Freestone Park because this park's a little bit grippy in certain places. G3s, always great. Mob Harley Quinn style, red and black grip. And then we got the 7 Ace Indie Bolts. That's it, that's gonna do it for us here today. We pulled the challenges, took a couple slams. It was a lot of fun. If you guys liked it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications button, and we will see you next time. Hi, this is Tom Remillard. Hi, this is Tom Remillard. Hi, this is Tom Remillard. You found yourself at the SC Tubular. Subscribe, be a part of this. Check out what we're doing. Click this, subscribe. Watch all the videos, you know you want to. Subscribe to look at more footage of all the brethren. Check out some more videos of all the dudes. See all the friends rip. Be a part of it. All right, there it is. All right, have a good day.